let's pray eternal rock of ages we worship you we praise you we magnify your holy presence we thank you for this particular moment we thank you because you are god we thank you because you are holy we thank you because you're mighty at this particular moment we want to worship you we want to praise your holy name we want to commit our the entire world into your hands because the world is suffering from Satan and his agent, the world is suffering from sin, the world is suffering from bad spirit or bad goodness. We have that you should change us, renew us, establish us, shield us, protect us, preserve us, eliminate the eye of our understanding, nourish us, inspire us, guide us, and help us to walk in your truth, help us to walk in your would help us to work according to your plans destroy sin in our life destroy the wickedness of the enemy upon our life in the name of jesus christ we soak ourselves in the blood of jesus christ the activity of satan in the air in the sea in the land we come against it right now in the name of jesus christ satan will big you we destroy your power lose your hold on us do we destroy, we dismantle you, we avoid your plans concerning our destiny, concerning our life, concerning our everything in the name of Jesus Christ. Those people that is hurting me as I'm trying to preach, as I'm trying to speak now, they are putting their mouth in my mouth, swallowing their saliva, trying to make things difficult because this is one of the methods of their cultism. My Lord and my God, I pray that by your own power you should expose them. People should know that there are people inside them swallowing their saliva. If they are speaking, if they are preaching, if they, they, they are trying to have destiny. People in this secret society, people will be swallowing it. We revoke it. We destroy it. We avoid their plans right now worldwide in the name of Jesus Christ. I defend it on them. In the name of Jesus Christ, more widely in the name of Jesus Christ, I defended on them and their team as I've told you, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you because you have done it for us in Jesus' name. I pray, Amen. Today, we're going to read in the book of Psalm 130, 130, 130. It's talking about the forgiving God. The title of our assignment today is about the forgiving God. I'm going to read in the book of Psalms. I will start reading from verse 1. My soul praise the Lord, and all that is within me praise his holy name. My soul praise the Lord. And do not forget all his benefits. The benefit of, of serving and praising God is when he forgives all your sins, he heals all your diseases, he redeems your life from the pit, he crowns you with the faithful love and compassion, he satisfies you with goodness. Your youth is renewed like the eagle. In this particular portion of the scripture today, we are talking about praising God, serving God, worshiping God. If you worship God, if you worship God, you're not just wasting your time. If you worship God, there is a benefit, there is a dividend of serving God. There is a reward of serving God. If you serve God, you are not just serving God alone. There is a, always a reward of serving God. One of the reward, one of the benefit, one of the dividends of serving God is He forgave all your sins if you serve him and ask him to forgive you he forgives you your sin even if your sin is as black as shackle he make it as white as snow he forgive all your sins 
and the second one he heals all your diseases he forgive your sin he heal all your diseases he redeems your life from the pit he crowns you with faithful love and compassion he satisfy you with good things and your life will be new as eagle in this particular place he forgive your sins and if you're sick you ask him for forgiveness you ask him to, for, for healing he heals you the way he has been healing me if it's not because of god if it's not because i'm serving god i will not survive this people for one minute i can never survive them for one hour because the more he the more they attack me the more they fight me the more i serve him the more he heals me the more he redeems me the more the more he redeemed my spirit from the pit hmm. and he crowns me with faithful love i feel the touch of god and compassion faithful love and compassion he have come to my rescue to reassure me that he's there for me even though i'm suffering even though satan is attacking me door to 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 matma where he crowned me with an unending love undeniable love love the young major love without without an end with love without a limit and he crowns me with compassion through it all he's going through those pain those trials this temptation the suffering alongside me the queen elizabeth my enemy is fighting me struggling to kill me every day with food poisoning destroying my clothes destroying things in my house she has the keys in my flat she she because she took advantage of me in her land and she had pushed somebody inside me and because of the love and the compassion of god i'm going to do it with ease even though it's a painful atmosphere painful moment but i'm going to do it with ease because of who god is as a dividends of serving god the reward of serving god the benefit of serving god he crowns you with an unending love he crowns you with compassion and he renews and he satisfies you with good things we only don't only need one year only god has satisfied me with good things he gave me more than 8 million in just one year just one year of Nigerian Nara. What an L million. And I could buy what I want. Look at this. This is a print from the company. It's pure. It's print from the whole company, Pinterest itself. For me, for Pinterest to have a print in my name, is it takes God for me to have this type of dress on my body, to have a print from a Pinterest itself. So he crowned you with good things and, and he's in the but he satisfied you with good things. He gives you what you want. He satisfies you with good things. He blesses you. He gives you good food. He gives you good clothes. He he helps you when you're crying. He goes through your trial. He goes through your suffering. He goes through it alongside you. And he renew your age like eagle. I was only uh, I was 42 years old when he came 20 2016 he had renewed my age he gave me a destiny uh, uh, a life from of a 14 year old now I'm today I'm 19 years old since 2016 he gave me a life from of a 14 year old I was young from within door outside uh, is a big woman a big woman but inside is just a 19 years old living her life I speak like a 19 year old I play like a 19 year old I eat I do things like a 19 year old I forgot something about the old age that I used to live my life I bring my speech she have changed my speech to a 19 year old child 
Because he has such a fine and renewed age is in the Bible. That's why your youth is renewed like the eagle. The enemy of the renewal of my youth like eagle is Satan, but he built on me putting other people inside so that people could not see my youthfulness that God himself has renewed it. That is the benefit of serving God, the reward of serving God, the evidence of serving God. If you worship God, God will renew your age. For me, it's an attachment because they are jealous of me. They're jealous. Queen Elizabeth I put this person. I'm calling. I put a man before my wedding because she's jealous of my wedding. Because I've married a young white man, though he look older, but they have bodybuilt him as well. So may the Lord God continue exposing our enemies, exposing this type of wickedness worldwide. And may the Lord God guide us, protect us, and preserve us. You need to serve God. You need to worship God. You need to work according to your plans. People are dying. Look at the way the Omar Sambo have just died this week. And he is somebody very, very influential as well. He died just like that. And, and God has told me the cause of his death. And it's really a, a very sad issue. So we have to be careful this world. We need to be careful. We need to travel cautiousness. We should not take life too high. Too high. Life is too short. We have to be very, very careful. May the Lord God continue protecting us, guiding us, preserving us in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray to Him. Amen.